my critique of the phone box is still a very good document, but one criti my critique of it is becoming more technology IT driven. Okay? And not only that, small IT, although they keep talking the phone box is for large project, uh, it's losing that concept, the life cycle, the repetition, the, these kind of things, is starting to be diluted in the phone box guide, more and more with every edition. And my, every edition, the phone box is improving in certain areas, but declining in others. And that's one of the biggest challenges we see the phone box guide. So you have to plan, and actually, I'll circulate this book, starting on page 112. Actually, I try to illustrate this that initially when you start your project, you will have the high level plan. That's basically kind of the high arch, you guys can see a little bit here, okay? That is more for the whole project. But then you start ex executing is going through the phases. Then if we come back to the next one, the same kind of process repeat in every stage. Okay, and then get down to, technically it doesn't show everything here but technically it shows the kind of repetition that happened in every phase. So yes, every phase you must plan, and not only plan, two plans. I talk about stage management <coughs> and stage detail plan. Okay, and this is an area where the Pumbak also have issues. This is actually what I'm doing right now, I'm writing a book about the Pumbak. Okay, and one of the areas in the Pumbak, the Pumbak have a lot of good stuff in it, but it has some confusion parts. Uh, technically, what, what Pumbak include the planning processes, uh, where the Pumbak need to be revised, in my view, it need to be split into two parts. And this is what I'm actually, if you read my, my literature, you'll find that. There is because if you look, for example, let's talk about scope management. The Pumbak come back and said there is a scope management plan, which was taken out, it used to be there, they took it out, and then now in the last edition they put it back in. So you need to plan how to manage the scope. You need to plan how to manage cost. So now there is a process for every knowledge area. These are management processes. So if we go up scope area, then they go next and say, well, now in the scope area, you have to collect requirements. You have to develop WBS. You have to write the scope statement. This is detailed planning. So when I look at the pump box, I divide, it in, I divide the planning process into two parts. There are management processes within the, what PMI calls the project management plan. I think 2000 edition, they used to be two plans, and then they merged them together. Okay, so my project management plan in my book is not the same as PMI management plan. Okay, because there are management processes like how to manage scope, how to manage cost, how to manage time, how to manage risk. This is a management process. And then there is a technical process like in scheduling, developing the schedule, sequencing, activities list, uh, critical pass analysis. This is detailed scheduling. This is not management. In the cost area, how to manage cost and contingency is different than estimating. So there are these in the planning. There are one that is more about the management of the process, and there is one that is how to develop that process, whatever it is, whether it's risk or scope or, or management. So basically, this is an area that I think there is a weakness in the Pumbat, uh, and this is what the, uh, I'll circulate these. I'll start with you. 